subscribing to an existing incident. We have added an option allowing residents to subscribe to an existing incident and receive status updates on the progress with the incident. This is particularly useful for faults which may have been reported by multiple people already, for instance a pothole, power outage or burst pipe. Let me demonstrate. I am going to log a service request for a burst pipe in my area. I search for and select Burst Pipe and move to step 2. I enter my description. There is a burst pipe at the Civic Centre in Cape Town. And move to step 3. I search for my fault location, add a point on the map, I check that the location address is correct and go to step 4. I'm not adding an attachment, so I proceed to step 5. I enter my name, surname, and preferred contact details. Because a similar incident has already been logged for this type of fault at the same location, a pop up message appears which gives me the option to subscribe to the existing service request. It tells me that, by subscribing, I will receive my own service request reference number, but that I will receive all status updates of the existing service request, which will keep me informed of progress. I can now choose to either subscribe to the existing incident or to skip. If I choose subscribe, I receive my own reference number and I will receive all status updates as the team deals with the original request. If I skip this option, a new service request will be created. If the new service request you've logged does relate to an existing incident, there is a chance that it will be closed as a duplicate of the existing incident, meaning that you will lose visibility of progress with the existing incident.